Time's up! Paco. Greetings! Welcome! Hello! I'm the Incredible Paco and welcome back for some more Super Mario Maker. In today's episode, we're gonna be going back and getting some redemption on some levels that ended our Super Expert runs. The first level that we're gonna do today, and we're probably gonna do four or five, is Grand K by Goldsberry. And so it's currently 12 out of 7k. And I got this a few weeks back, but I also remember back in maybe 2016, if I got a Goldsberry level, I would say to myself, yo, we, we have no chance. Now, I get a Goldsberry level and I say to myself, we can do this, just maybe not in 100 lives as... Okay, so we do a shell jump and do a midair, and I feel like... I feel like there's not really anything all too unreasonable in the level. It's just a matter of getting good. Woo! So I almost made it to the checkpoint when I was doing this level. And this could end up being a really quick clear. Okay, go over, spin. Oh yeah, this one here, this is a really big jump. I'm probably gonna screw it up a few times. Okay, automatic. Woo, dude, I just, I can't miss the midair. Also, I'm sure a bunch of you guys are gonna be like, oh, look at this fancy editing. But that's actually three in a row. I think I can one cycle this, but I'm too scared. Also, okay, swing out. Up we go, perfect. No need to wait, and so... There's gonna be a tough shell jump coming back left. Okay. We just have to stick this. That's all we had to do. We stick that, we go up, through the door, then we hit a checkpoint. Okay, there, I missed one, I missed one. Three out of four ain't bad. Three out of five. That's... Can I one cycle it? No. No, it seems so tempting, so that's why I wasn't doing it. Woo! I don't know why, like, like, I'm not... <laughs> I'm not crazy about mid-airs, but for some reason, I find that setup at the start pretty fun. Woo! Alright. You know what? I have... What was that? I have a really good... What? What am I doing? What? Oh my god! Well, I have a good feeling about the next run. What was I doing there? It's like, I was throwing it, but I wasn't throwing it? Maybe when I'm editing it, I'll be like, oh, that's not cool at all. You're just an idiot. You're just an idiot. You upchuck the shell. There's nothing cool about doing the wrong input. Who knows? Okay. So maybe you actually don't have to pull back if you do it properly. Either way, the option still exists. Because, yeah, I don't think I can make that. Okay, over. Let's see if we can do this again. Yes, okay. So snag the P-switch. And I feel like I'm more prepared to make it back now. Grab this. Up we go. Perfect. And there is checkpoint number one. Woo! Okay, so spring jump all big. I actually like the way this is set up, so when you come out of the checkpoint, you get the mushroom. Some of the damage boosts that I've done before, not my favorite, whereas this is, uh, seems like a, a clean setup. So we have a big blind jump. And that didn't work. Up. That's good. I don't know what I did differently though. As up and over. Trust the coins. Woo! Alright, we're getting pretty close to the end of the level here. Get the one up. So I'm trying to remember what's gonna happen. Like that. Over. And then, okay, so wall jump, grab the shell, up chuck, yata. Okay, so I feel like we're gonna get through the level pretty quickly. 
But I, I don't know, this level's a lot of fun. Up we go. Woo! Okay. So you, you gotta remember not to go too early there. Trust the coins. We're gonna pass on the one up this time. And I think. I think I'm ready now. Woo! Okay. Up chuck. Over. And ya to the ta. Woo! Feels pretty good, man. Grand K by Goldsberry. That was a lot of fun. All right, next up we have a level by Bakura, and it's called Dark Breeze. This one actually just ended a run on Monday. And I actually recognize this creator because I saw Zeta SSJ beat a, a pretty cool level by them. But this level here, it's, it's pretty funky. And I just have to remember... What do I do? Something like that. So the, the, the opening sequence here is really, really, really cool. It's kind of annoying to get, but it's it's really cool. Although this part here, I'm less crazy about. So drop the POW, and then you can overshoot it. I think because the stuff is on the tracks, it feels a bit janky, as I need the POW to land on the muncher. I missed it again. I also got to the very end of this level, and I had a few choice words for it. One, two... Heck! 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 Darn! Heck! Mother's milk! Gosh darn! That's a hundred lives on one level! Alright, just send me back to the start. Send me back to the start. Okay. That should be good? Yes. Okay. So I think I'm supposed to drop this one earlier, but we do a mini, mini, mini cheese. In we go. And then what I have to do is I have to backshot both shells. It's actually a really, really tight window. And then that's about two thirds through the first section. There's only really a few really tough parts here. Drives me crazy, man. I, I hate things on tracks. Is that good? Yes. Woo! In we go. Alright, so we got both back shots. And now I have to remember what's going on here. So that one's really easy to mess up. And now, I got that, I got that, I got that. And now all we have to do is be patient. When I was playing this live, I made such a silly mistake and it took me 40 lives to get back here. What? Why would I do that? Woo! In we go. Checkpoint, nice. So this part is a bit questionable. I mean, it's kind of cool. But well, what I don't like about it is it takes too long to set up. So now reset. And when you hit the coin blocks like that, now they're stationary. You can jump on them, you jump through. And this part here is just a bit funky. So we need to get the turtle to the left and then it's gonna drop us a P-switch. Should be good? Nice. <laughs> oh my god, leave me alone, turtle. Also, this next section here is a bit crazy. I don't think I'll one-shot it, but you never know. You never know. Oh my god, we're gonna get a shot at the end. <sighs> Alright, now the end is insanity. The end is insanity. I feel like it's almost impossible to react to it. But we're gonna do our best. I think I had three knives. Hopefully we get it on our first attempt, but okay. That was really close. That was really close. That was better than any attempt I did live. And now we're back here again. There we go. Alright, we'll just go right away. Okay. 
Nice, so we got it both times. Get the spring drum. Perfect. <sighs> Alright, we're not even gonna talk. We're not even gonna think. We're just gonna do. Should have thought. Also, this part here is really creative. Kind of looks ugly, but I like it. Spring drops are probably the easiest advanced tech in Mario Maker. So it feels kind of bad to miss that. I still can't believe we haven't messed this part up yet. <laughs> okay. You know what? I have a great feeling. This is it. This is Yata. Let's go. Ugh. Sometimes I get these good feelings. I mean, a lot of times they don't work out. But just like that, two levels in the books. First clear, and I kind of want to check out some more levels from this guy. I feel like the setups were pretty creative. I mean, a few of them I wasn't crazy about, but all in all, pretty cool level. Up next, we have a level from CN Lanza, and it's called Neverland. And this level ended not, not, not just one run, it's actually ended two runs in the past two weeks. Although the second time I didn't have too many lives. But this level is actually decently cool, but it's, it's really tight. Also, anybody who sees the cloud path on the bottom, and they're like, Paka, why don't you just run on the bottom? If you don't get that spring boost, you will not make it. So yeah, pretty much... Pretty much the level is really, really tight. Wait a second. Okay, so that was actually really good. You have to let go of grab to uh, flick the pow there. But why didn't I pick up that pow? And I keep doing the up check. There's nothing cool about doing the wrong input. Okay. That is not good. So yeah, there's a, there's a nice window to, you know, spin fly up. And then I'm pretty sure, I, I don't know if it's frame perfect, but it's pretty close to... It's pretty close to it to beat the level. Time's up? Or did I slow down? Or did I fly over the thing? Okay, so I knew it was tight. But I thought that was actually perfect. <laughs> That's actually ridiculous. Okay, I can totally beat this level. And then I beat it without the cape. It almost doesn't feel like a true ending without the cape. But should we take it? Although also, nice touch on the party music. Pretty good, pretty good. I feel like we don't see enough party music in Mario Maker these days. I mean, that's the second time we beat it without the cape. This time, zero on the clock. I really want the cape. Also, this level beat us twice. It only made sense for us to beat it twice. But maybe for me to truly win, I need to beat it three times. Cape ending! Yes! There we go! There we go! So this level has beaten me twice. I've beaten it three times. 19.955. That was actually pretty speedy as well. Alright, next up we have a Derek SMM level. And this one is 3 out of 4,557.06. It's actually not that hard. But there's like a random midair to finish. But we are going to up that clear rate, hopefully. But so, I actually, I think this level's kind of cool. Um, I think it's visually a bit noisy. Like, for example, the thwomp, the screen shape. All that. Not crazy about it. But it'll be okay. So I feel like I really should have been able to beat this level live. But there were a few things that just threw me off. I think, um... 
I think I'm better at compensating for them now. Maybe not. Maybe not. That part there feels weird. So if you pull too far back, you don't catch the next shell. As I'm starting to get consistent at the beginning part here. <laughs> I guess I twirled like this much too early. Okay, that's good. Spin, spin, chuck, spin. Why do I hit the hammer, bro? It's not necessary. Alright. The sub world makes no sense to me. It's pretty much auto. And I feel like it's a gigantic waste of time. But I guess if you're like really into Michael Bay stuff, there's a lot of explosions, which maybe you're into. And now it's midair time. And now we get to do that a bazillion times until we get back here. I, I, I hate when that happens. Wow, compelling. I really hope I don't have to do this again. Let's, let's get good. Or let's do that to ourselves midair. <laughs> Not where I wanted to go. Let's go, let's go. In the door. I forgot about this. I forgot about that. I thought it was midair and win. So I need to kill Bowser Jr. And then I get to the end. I thought that was the end. Oh, ha. Okay. All right, stuck the midair. In we go. I'm ready this time. No. No! Why would I jump off the wall? Why would I jump off the wall? I just want to be done with this level! Honestly, if it wasn't for this section, I would 1000% start this level, even though there's a few things I don't like. Three seconds. Two seconds. No! I had to ground pound and then jump in left. Oh my god, I want to beat this level. I want to be done with it. Dude, that was so close to 30. If I have to go through this one more time, I'm going to lose my mind. Okay, up we go. Please, let's close out. In we go. More time. Three seconds. No! Just go in the hole! Get me in there! <laughs> I can't do this! I can't do this! I hate this level! This is it! This is it! This is guaranteed it! If this is not it, I quit forever. This might not be it. This is bad. Three seconds. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I screwed so many things up, but finally we got it. Woohoo! I played cool stuff from Derek. This was not my favorite, but I'm I'm glad I beat it. All right, we're gonna finish with a level called Speedrun 10 Sec Jebated, and so Kaze's name is in the pixel art, and so I got this level a long time ago, 
And I want to say I probably have 50 knives on the level. <laughs> but maybe now I've leveled up my skills and I'm ready to beat it. So it's only 10 seconds. But some of the hardest levels are only 10 seconds. Okay, so you pretty much have to one frame jump at the start or you get torched. And then the hard part's coming up. I don't know why I find that jump so difficult. I just find... I find that jump really, really tough. Really, really tough. So once you get through here... I don't know if it's a shell jump or a midair. I think shell jump works. I just don't know if shell jump's fast enough. Okay, so I'm actually a lot better at this part than the last time I tried. But it's, it's tough. It's actually really tough. And then you don't want to lose any momentum. Because you're racing the clock here. There we go. And then it's either a shell jump or a midair. Okay. So, I think I could have done a better shell jump. Would that have been slow? So the problem is I didn't have enough height to get the ground pound. But I, 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 I almost think that a shell jump there could be more efficient. I got it! I got it! I got it! Oh my god! I didn't think I was gonna get it! Okay, so I think... The shell jump strat was easier than the midair strat. Either way, this is my third time attempting this level for unfinished business. The first time I want to say was a year and a half ago. Second time maybe a year ago. And then I kind of just put this level off until I saw this guy's me and I was like, You, I'm not done with you, Hugo. I guess, although now I am done. Woo! As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, definitely be sure to drop a like. And if you want more of me, I'm streaming on Twitch every weekday. And I'm uploading to YouTube pretty frequently.